Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company Accounting Lesson. In this video, we will be going over how to handle a partnership liquidation when there is a deficit that is absorbed by the remaining partners in the partnership. So here we have on December 31st, the last day of the year, Ryan, Matt, and Jacob decide to liquidate their partnership, RMJ Partnership. Prior to this liquidation, the partnership had cash, non-cash assets, and liabilities, and also there are some capital balances here for us to consider. During the liquidation, the non-cash assets were sold for $14,000, so that's going to be important since it says here we have $18,000 worth of book value of our non-cash assets. And it also says that Ryan, Matt, and Jacob have a profit loss sharing ratio of 2 to 2 to 1. And then here's the important part here. Any, def any deficient balances are absorbed by the remaining partners. So one thing I want to do before we jump right into this problem is take a closer look at the liquidation chart. Our first line is going to be our beginning balances, which we will grab from the chart. And then we will sell the non-cash assets, find a new balance, pay off the liabilities, find a new balance, handle the deficiency, find a new balance, and then distribute the cash, find a new balance, right? So um, another thing is for every line item, I'm going to encourage you to use this equation up top. Um, a lot of times I'm noticing that students will simply fill this in and um, they won't go ahead and make sure that it balances. If it doesn't balance, we know we made an error somewhere. So let's go ahead and start by putting in our balances before liquidation. So we had 12,000 in cash, 18,000 in non-cash assets, 21,000 in liabilities, and then Ryan had a capital balance of 1,000, Matt had one of 4,000, and then Jacobs was also 4,000. All right, so our first step is to sell off those non-cash assets. According to this problem, uh, it says here that uh, all non-cash assets were sold for $14,000. So let's start there. We know that we are going to be receiving $14,000 cash for selling those non-cash assets. So let's make our cash go up by $14,000. The other side of this is we're selling off our non-cash assets. So what should be the balance of non-cash assets after we sell them off? Zero. So how are we going to bring that to zero? We're going to decrease it by the full $18,000. Um, I think this is probably one of the biggest mistakes I ever see on this line. Uh, keep in mind, we need to get this to zero. We're selling them all off. So it's going to decrease by the total amount. Right? Um, our next step is going to determine if there was a gain or a loss. Uh, notice we had a book value of 18,000 for our non-cash assets. We just sold it for 14000 So it isn't hard to see we have a loss situation here, right? Um, another thing that we could do is notice that this is the left-hand side of the equation. So the left-hand side of the equation currently is negative 4000 So we are really dealing with a $4,000 loss here. And that's what we are going to be distributing to the partners, right? So this $4,000 loss has to be distributed to Ryan, Matt, and Jacob. Now keep in mind, any gain or losses that we have for the sale of non-cash assets will be distributed according to their profit loss sharing ratio, right? Now, if you haven't dealt with ratios before, um, essentially what this is, since it's a two to two to one ratio, there's two plus two plus one parts. So there's five parts, right? Uh, Ryan will be receiving two of these five parts. So we can kind of say he gets two fifths of the loss. Matt is also going to be getting two fifths of the loss. And then Jacob will be getting one fifth of the loss. So whenever you're trying to figure out how much of the gain or loss is going to be absorbed by each partner, turn it into a fraction. Count up all the parts, 2 plus 2 plus 1 in this scenario, and then 2 fifths, 2 fifths, 1 fifth. It's as easy as that. So let's put that into a formula over here so we can actually watch it happen. So Ryan is going to be getting 2 fifths of that $4,000 loss. So he will be getting 
1600 or he will be absorbing $1,600 of that loss. There's his two-fifths based on his profit-loss sharing ratio, and we already calculated that the loss, 14,000 minus 18,000, is negative 4,000. Okay. Let's do the same thing for Matt. Matt is also going to absorb two-fifths, so two divided by five times a loss of $4,000. So Matt will get 1,600 of that. And then Jacob, same idea, except he has a one, so he'll absorb one-fifth of the $4,000 loss. So he will absorb 800 And just to kind of check yourself, um, I do recommend, I'll just do it down here so you can see. Uh, let's see, we have negative 1,600, negative 1,600, negative 800. So see here, there is that negative $4,000. And now our equation actually balances. We have negative 4,000 on the left-hand side, negative 4,000 on the right-hand side. It balances. We are equal. Uh, the next line should be easy. This is simply going to be adding up all of these balances. So our cash now has a new balance of 26,000. Non-cash assets has a balance of zero. We made no changes to our liabilities, so they are still at 21,000. Ryan's capital is now 1,000 minus 1,600, so he has a negative balance. There is that deficit that we keep talking about. Matt had 4,000, but we took away 1,600 from his capital balance, so he has 2,400 in his capital balance. And then Jacob, 4,000 minus 800, he has 3,200 in his capital balance. Our next step in a liquidation is going to be the payment of liabilities. So here we're going to look at our liabilities and see what that balance is. $21,000 is what this partnership is going to have to pay off. And how do we pay off liabilities? With money, cash, right? So we are going to take $21,000 cash and we are going to use that money to pay off their liabilities. We're going to take those liabilities away to bring it to a balance of zero. That is the only change that has to happen on this line. Notice that the left-hand side of our equation equals the right-hand side of our equation. They're both negative 21,000. We are done. We can find our new balances. So cash now has a balance of 5,000. Give me a second, let me take care of that bold. Uh, Non-cash assets still have zero. Liabilities now also have zero. And then we're left with these capital balances. Okay. And by the way, if you did want to check, which let's go ahead and do it just for fun. If we add up these three balances here, notice that they are equal to the amount of cash we have on that side. So our equation still should even balance on the balance line. All right, let's handle this deficiency. So there's two options when there's an efficiency. Either the deficient partner is going to pay that cash back to the partnership to bring his balance to zero, or that deficiency is going to be absorbed by the other two uh, partners. Uh, in this case, it says that any deficient balances are absorbed by the remaining partners. So it's the latter of those two examples. Um, I do have another video that goes over how to handle a deficiency if the owner contributes cash. I will link to that in the description just in case that's the type of problem you're working on. But for this one, we need to have Matt and Jacob absorb that $600 deficiency. Now, how do we have them absorb it? according to their profit loss sharing ratio. So when the remaining partners are absorbing the deficiency, we ignore the deficient partners uh, profit loss portion, right? So Ryan was two, we're going to ignore that for now. We're only going to focus on the partners who are absorbing, which is Matt and Jacob, which is a two to one ratio. Now, just like how we handled ratios before, now we're dealing with just two to one, that's three parts. So Matt is going to be absorbing two thirds of the $600 deficit, de deficit. and uh, Jacob is going to be absorbing one third of this $600 deficit, right? 
So let's go ahead and let's put that math in. Remember, we're ignoring Ryan. We only care about Matt and Jacob because they are the ones who are going to be absorbing. Right. All right. So Matt had the two for the two to one. So he is going to be getting two thirds of the deficit. And that deficit was a negative $600. So he's absorbing $400 of that deficit. Jacob was the one out of the three parts, so he is going to be absorbing one-third of that $600 deficit. Beautiful. Now keep in mind on this line, uh, technically it doesn't balance yet, and that is because we didn't take care of Ryan's uh, negative capital balance here, this deficit. Since Matt and Jacob absorbed his deficit, we are going to increase his balance by $600, this will bring his capital balance to a balance of zero, and then we'll be done with it. Matt and Jacob can go ahead and call up Brian personally and ask him to reimburse them for that if they want to. So let's go ahead and find new balances. We have 5,000 in the cash, zero in non-cash assets, zero in liabilities. Ryan's capital has been zeroed out. And then Matt is left with 2,000 and Jacob is left with 3,000. And again, we balance 5,000 equals 5,000. All right, last but not least, we have, to do, we have to distribute this cash. Keep in mind, once we get to the point where we are distributing cash, we distribute cash according to capital balances. So in this case, we have 2,000 and 3,000. So Matt will be getting 2,000 and Jacob will be getting 3,000. This is why they might go up to Ryan and ask him if they, he could eventually reimburse them if he's able to. So let's take the $5,000 in cash out of the partnership. Let's distribute 2,000 of that to Matt, which will bring his capital balance to zero. And we'll distribute the other 3,000 to Jacob, which will also bring him to zero. And then our final balances, which should always be the goal in a liquidation. Keep in mind, liquidation, we're closing down this partnership. We want to zero out all of those balances for the business. We have met our goal, zero across the board. Okay. Uh, so keep practicing these partnership liquidations. If you want to see another example, again, I will link to our other partnership liquidation video in the description. If you would like this blank sheet or any others, please be sure to visit the website. I'll make sure to upload all of those resources on there so that you can work along with the video if you'd like. All right, until the next one, happy studying.